Hey YouTube, BM here. It's been a little bit since I've done a video. A uh, lot's been going on. You guys know the story. Um, I actually had computer problems and I had a camera problem. I wasn't busy at work and then all of a sudden I was busy. It's just one of them things. But um, tanks are all doing good. I mean, uh, see, if you're really into the hobby, you seem to always find that's top priority. You got to at least take care of the tanks. Um, videos come after that. If you don't take care of the tanks, well, there really is no video, is there? But anyways, uh, this is my Nano saltwater tank, five and a half gallon. Doing very well. Um, coming up on the three year mark, hard to believe, three years in this tank. Minor changes, the scape is all the same, all the rock. I want to say there's almost ten pounds of live rock in there. Uh, some of the inhabitants, uh, you know, have changed over the years, but I got a, what I what I got here. I, I like. Um, this damsel's been in here a while now, along with the cleaner shrimp. They get along good, and uh, I got this Blenny. He's pretty cool. He's doing good so far. He's usually all out and about. Coral, um, nothing new really. Everything's doing, uh, doing good. Of course, I got a couple crabs in here, and as soon as they start messing with some of the coral, they close up on you. Like this guy, my uh, torch. I mean, uh, Duncan. I get them two mixed up. Um, Okay, closed right up tight, and he was open earlier, so crab must have done a drive-by or something. Shrimp doesn't mess with him too bad. Um, a couple of issues. Um, I done away with um, my refugium. The light slowly died. It was a bunch of LEDs, and they just kept dying off till finally the. The Chato in it had died and it just wasn't doing anything, so I figured I'd try without it. Right now it's just circulating. It's actually holding my uh, heater. I put a heater in here now, just to. Never had a heater, but it was only like 74. So I got it up to 78. Good place for the heater. That, that way it's um, no distraction. And in the other Aqua Clear, we're running the. Um, uh, what do you call it? Chemi Pure. That's it, and that's with the, uh, um, yeah, right, can't even speak tonight. I've had a bad cold, too. I've been sick lately. Oh, it's been terrible. But anyways, uh, doing good. The Marine Land Light, that's original. That's doing good. I'd recommend that. I mean, uh, it's got its limitations. It does good for the softies in a little tank. I did get a new, uh, See if I can. Some new zoanthids. This piece right here, they're all closed right now. They're orange. They're they're real nice. Um, yeah, crab knocked that over too. So that's kind of all pissed off right now. The crab's a pain in the ass. He really is. The emerald crab. Let's see if I can find him. Little bastard. He's something. Knocks things over. I mean, he don't hurt nothing. This crab here is pretty cool. This is the hermit crab. He's alright. But he can be a little bit destructive as well. But, hey, you know, it's about having pets, right? But, uh, that scooter bunny over there. I've been feeding him some frozen food. He likes that. Plus, they just pick away at what's in the rocks and stuff. Anyways, that's uh, the saltwater nano reef. Not very much to it. It's only five and a half gallons. But as you can see by all that purple coralline algae, it's, it's well established. I, I hope so, anyways. Three years old. Nothing fancy, but I like it. It's pretty cool. There was one point I was thinking about doing away with it, and then I'm like, no, I just really fallen for it. I love this tank. 
pretty simple now that it's established. Just got to be patient. That's what I'd recommend anybody on a saltwater tank. Just be patient. Anyways, all's well. Hope to get some more videos out soon. Thanks for watching, guys.